Hey y'all, today's gonna be a What's Old video and it starts right now. Alright guys, welcome if you're new to the channel. My name is Julian, also as the Beer with the Machine here on YouTube, and I buy stuff and flip it online and make YouTube videos about it. Today's gonna be 20 what's sold for me on eBay in the last couple of days. If you are new to the channel, welcome. This is a reselling channel. I do this full time. And if you want to go back, watch some of my other content. And if you do like it, always remember to subscribe, comment down below, like the video, and I much appreciate it. So today's gonna be 20 what's sold for me on eBay in the last couple of days. I do this so I can show you guys exactly what I'm selling to make this a full time job. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this 20 what sold on eBay. So this one right here is going to be two Craftsman spark plugs. And the most important thing when you sell these, there's a little rubber grommet inside of the spark plug sockets. Just make sure that's in there. Go free shipping. I have less than a quarter into these, but they probably did take like nine months to sell. They always do sell, but they're kind of long tail. So, uh, but $19 free shipping, not too bad. This one right here is going to be actually, there's a mistake in there. It says Nike golf black strap back hat, navy blue white. Hopefully they notice that that is a navy blue hat. It's not a black hat that might be returned. Who knows? But this one did go for $10 and the buyer did pay shipping. Only took about a month to sell. Picked it up for $2 at a Goodwill. This one right here is going to be a lot of nine Craftsman V double V, which means it's going to be made in the United States. And there are 12 point metric sockets to go for $25 and the buyer did pay shipping. Probably less than a dollar into those on a toolbox. By the, again, take probably eight to nine months to sell when it comes to sockets. This one right here is kind of a bolo. I don't know if you'll ever find it uh, because it doesn't seem there's a lot of them out there. There was only three sold on eBay, none listed. They all sold for about $25. So I raised the price since I only had the only one. And uh, it is a Wood River Fly Fishing Pack fishing bag. This one was kind of brand new because it didn't actually have the directions in it. And it's just literally a bag with compartments that you use for fly fishing, I guess. And it was dark green, went for $39.99 and the buyer did pay shipping. And that sold literally within a couple minutes. And I probably have about a dollar into that at a yard sale. Frog Togs Pro Advantage Rain Bibs, new with tag, they go and go for $20 plus shipping. Frog togs, there's different like tiers of them. So some of them are super expensive and some of them are like this that aren't so expensive. You got to really kind of comp them out. I paid $10 for these at the local thrift store. Overpaid for them, but I did make a little bit of money. Just make sure I didn't really realize the tiers were so dramatic. Some frog togs are super expensive. So you kind of want to go ahead and try to buy those instead of the ones I bought that only were 20 bucks when they're brand new. This one right here is going to be a Toshiba DVD VCR combo unit. Again, I have a love-hate relationship with these things. And this one did go for $50 plus shipping. I actually had the remote there and I uh, added some wires to it. I always think that helps for the sale if you do add the wires. And it only takes about a week to sell those things. They move very quickly. They're kind of annoying to ship and to test, I think. But still not bad because I usually pick them up between $8 to $10 at a thrift store. This one right here is a saddle bread, and that's not a name brand, I don't think, but it is a cool looking camp shirt, retro flower leaf. It's got a bird on it, so I used a whole bunch of keywords to sell this thing. I did buy this on highbid.com, which is an auction site, and I did get this out of a big closet buy. So I have probably 10 cents into this, and they go for 13 bucks. And it did take a while to sell. I think I listed it probably about four months ago. These tailor-made burner plus irons, the four through nine, and I did have a pitching wedge and an A wedge, and it was a regular flex, right-handed set. They go for $250 plus shipping. They did go international, and I paid $80 for them on a Facebook Marketplace deal, and it only took about a week to sell. This one is a Black Cat golf head cover. They go for $15 plus shipping. I've got that in a big bulk buy, probably have 50 cents into it. And it, uh, again, takes very fast to sell that, probably about a week. This is a club glove stiff arm travel club protector. So this goes inside of a soft travel bag for golf clubs. I picked up this and the travel bag at a Goodwill for, I think, $7.99. I sold the bag locally because it was huge for uh, 25 bucks, And then I sold this online for $18. So not that bad. They did pay shipping on that. And it actually did come apart and kind of collapsed. So it was very easy to ship. But uh, definitely kind of one of those things that I didn't think it was going to be worth a whole bunch of money. Came home and scanned it. And 18 bucks ain't bad. These are some old Ace Hardware Professional Combination Wrenches. Free shipping on these. Had these for a long time. Again, I could pick these up for 10 cents to a quarter a piece when I buy big toolboxes. And this one went for 18 bucks free shipping, probably eight, nine months to sell on those. These Sperry Gold Cup Sport Captains Oxfords Brown. Uh, when it comes to Sperry's now, I usually only pick up the Gold Cup ones because they do sell, I think, pretty well. 
and for more money. These went for $36 plus shipping. I remember they went to California and I picked them up for $6 at a Goodwill. This goes to a pasta maker. Now I had bought the whole pasta maker and it was kind of brand new, but the box was gigantic. It was very heavy. And to be honest with you, it wasn't really worth shipping. People were selling them. I picked it up for I think $9 and people were selling them for like 50 bucks. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and start parting this thing out. And I, this is the front plate that I took off and parted out and they went for $15. And the buyer did pay shipping, went first class and that's a lot easier to ship. And then what I did was I had all the attachments and I'm selling the attachments individually. And I'm going to make a lot more money doing that than if I sent, actually sold the whole thing together. These right here are called Little Dandy Powder Measurement Rotor. Lot of seven different sizes, parts only. This is basically used to reload uh, ammunition and it did go for $79 and the buyer did pay shipping. I probably have $7 into these. This was a huge tool bulk buy that I did not too long ago. That sale right there is gonna push me into the profit on that big bulk buy. So everything on this point on for that bulk buy will be pure profit, so I'm happy with that. This Starbucks, you are here, Kansas City. It says read because this is the only Starbucks that had a flaw in it and it's the first one that sold, I think just because it was cheaper. It had like a hairline crack in or crazing in the uh, in the little coat on the outside of it in the ceramic and I did put that in there went for eight dollars the buyer to pay shipping I paid a dollar for that at a yard sale I picked up I don't know probably 15 and that's the first one to sell these Adidas golf three stripe belt buckles these did come with leather belts that were also Adidas I put each one of these up for one dollar and these sold for forty dollars and fifty cents plus shipping on those and they only took about a month and a half to sell and i just sold another one for about 40 bucks so they were really good uh, buy that's a bolo i don't think they make those anymore or something because the sell-through rate is really good on this three stripe belt buckles and at a garage sale or yard sale you might be able to pick them up for about a dollar this steering wheel lock plate remover Free shipping on this. This was kind of heavy. I think it did go in a padded flat rate, so not a lot of money made here, but I've had this thing probably close to a year, and it did sell for $16.20, and I probably had a quarter into it when I bought it. This one right here is going to be a Norelco HQ4 Plus Replacement Shave Heads Sealed Package. This is another one that I bought in that huge tool bulk buy. This one's going to be pure profit. And I would definitely say that they are a bolo because I sold out of them within one week. This Callaway Razor X Black Fairway 9 Wood Graphite Shaft A-Flex. A-Flex means Senior Flex. So if you see that on the golf club, that means Senior Flex. And it usually does fetch a little bit more money than a regular Flex or Stiff Flex or something of that sort. And it was a right-handed club. Went for $80 plus shipping on that. And I only had $5 in that in a bulk buy. This is a Babolat. Pure Drive Team Woofer Tennis Racket 438 grip. And I do actually have a little short on my YouTube video that shows exactly where you can find the grip size because that's a big thing. I posted many tennis rackets before where I didn't put the grip size and that's the first question I get is what's the grip size? It's usually stamped on the bottom or there's another number that you can Google and then it'll show you the actual grip size. And this one needed a grip, but this was a really decent buy here. Got it for $5 at a garage sale not too long ago, probably about a month. It needed a grip and everything, but it still went for $79.20. That is a super good brand to look out for when you're looking at tennis rackets. Not all of them are expensive, but I have to say, each one that I've sold on one of these do usually go over 40 to 50 bucks. So right there, that's 20 wood sold for me in the last couple of days on eBay. I do these videos again, so you can go out there, find some of these items, flip them for yourself, and make some money. I do appreciate everybody that watches. If you're not subscribed, always remember to subscribe, comment below, like the video, and you know I will always catch you on the next one.